Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up this iPad Air. Now this is with the big one, all right? It's not the small iPad Air, this is the bigger one. This is the newest iPad Air available at the moment, so let's just flip it over. All right, so to turn on the iPad for the very first time, you're gonna see the power button on the top. So that's beside these keys that you guys will notice. These are for volume. There's only one for the power, so just hold on to it. Now your iPad should come with some battery. If it doesn't, I would worry would worry if it's refurbished or something happened because technically you never want the iPad to go all the way down to 0% and the battery completely die. Anyways, right now we're gonna go on and choose English. I know you do not need to charge your iPad while you're doing this. If it's too low of battery, so let's say 30% and it's gonna run some updates, you might need to hook it up. But generally speaking, right now this battery is at 85%, so I'm okay. Uh, choose your region. So there's a bunch of regions. Let me just go back to show you. See all these options. There's US, everything you guys can want. So we're going to go on and choose our region or country. Once we do that, we can choose our appearance. This is how big the text will be. You guys can change almost everything I'm going to show you during this setup video um, later on as well in your settings, by the way. So you guys can just scroll through and see which one is best for you. You guys can go all the way down to small or extra large. For me, default is always good. Right now, quick start. If you guys have an iPhone or another iPad, you can use that in order for quick start. Just make sure your iPad or your iPhone has its Bluetooth turned on. Don't have it a power saving mode or anything like that. Just bring it up close and you guys are gonna see a message popping up saying quick start. So that's gonna help you just link everything up a little bit faster. However, assuming you guys are brand new to this, just go on and set up yourself so just choose your wi-fi network i'm going to choose this then just press on join and there we go so you do need wi-fi can you guys use hotspot for this yes it's a wi-fi network after all so go ahead and use hotspot right now it's going to take a few minutes to activate it actually takes a few seconds not really that long and then remember if you guys don't have an app idea then make a video about how to make one and if you guys already have one even better so software update I would update it right now, just so everything goes okay. So update now. Then just let it do its thing, agree. And then just let it download everything so you guys can just keep going with this. Remember I said it might be updating while well, this is happening. I'm at 85% battery, so I'm okay. If you guys are at 50%, it might let you, might not let you download the update um, unless you hook it up to some electricity. So you might have to do that, but most of you, you will not. So just let it be and then come back to it later on. So once the update is done, you're gonna see this. Just go into continue, quick start again, set up without a device, then go into continue on, and you're gonna see this. So you can set up yourself or set up for your child or family member. So again, this depends if it's for you or your child. When it comes to your child, then there's restrictions so you can set up and all that stuff. If it's for yourself, you don't need to. So we're gonna set up for myself. Touch ID, Touch ID is up here now. So there is no home button. So Touch ID will be your power button. All you guys have to do is tap away and then it's gonna set it up. So I wanna teach you that right now. Now, if you guys don't wanna import any information, you guys can just skip this. So set up Touch ID later. So just choose that if you don't wanna import any personal information, which does include Touch ID to your iPad, just in case you guys wanna sell this. So for any reason that you guys don't wanna import any personal information, always, always skip these steps. That I'm gonna show you what to skip and what you guys have to go through. Anyways, right now we're going to see Touch ID up here. So just go into continue on, place your finger. Keep placing your finger up and down. And that's how you guys set up your Touch ID, which is your fingerprint. So right now we're going to choose OK. And we just have to keep going. And keep in mind that it's going to ask you to set up with two fingers if you want. So continue on. Just gonna cover more of your finger it's gonna scan it more times and like i mentioned you will be able to add another fingerprint which could be your right hand not just your left like i'm doing right now just in case you're holding this uh horizontal and vertical so it's gonna help you if you have that to so continue on by the way this is something that you guys can add later on as well so if you guys don't want to add a second fingerprint right now don't do it just skip add it up later in settings and you can even set it up with someone else if you want them to have access, full access to your iPad. 
So we can go on and set up later. At this point in time, it's gonna ask us for a passcode. Just put anything that you guys want. It should be something difficult, not like what I'm showing you right now. This is just an example, but here we go. We're gonna go on into the next. So transfer. This is for those of you who have an iPad. So you could, or an iPhone actually, because you guys can import some information such, such as your contacts and some apps. So right here, you guys can import from iCloud Backup if you guys have an Apple ID. If you don't, then don't transfer anything. From Android, I would skip that step. It's kind of useless to be honest. From Mac or PC, that can be useful if you have a Mac, PC, and eh, not so much. And that's because people think that an iPad can take over your PC, can replace a laptop, it still can't. Anyways, um, from another iPad, same thing, just have your other iPad beside you. But again, if you're brand new to this, don't transfer anything, go to the next step. This is your Apple ID. So if you don't have one, create one. If uh, you don't want to import any information, which does include your Apple ID, go on and tap here. And this is where you guys can also tap to create an Apple ID. So let me just show you what that means. So right now we can set this up later in settings. So if you don't want to import your Apple ID, set it up later in settings. So again, that way you're not importing any personal information. However, if you do want to take full advantage of this and use it for yourself, for sure going to create an Apple ID if you don't already have one. It is free and it's really good to have one. That way you guys can have a backup plus sync up stuff, find your iPad and do anything like that. So if you don't have one, just create Apple ID and then just put your first name, last name, birthday, continue on. It's gonna ask you for your email. You're gonna be basically done with that. So regardless, if you're skipping this step or you're making Apple ID or you have an Apple ID, so let's just skip that step. Don't use for now. You're gonna see this message up next. Now, you guys can turn this off later on, by the way. So you can only download automatically or, or just have it install any updates automatically as well. I highly suggest not having that in set up. So you don't want this to install updates by itself. And that's because Let's say something glitches in the morning, you go in to turn on your iPad and you see that it's not turning on. You have no idea what happened to it. That's because it ran an update by itself. That's just in case that actually happened because it has happened before where updates just kind of screw up your iPad. So what I suggest updating it yourself and only after they see what other problems other people had from installing the latest updates. So that's why I suggest just choosing this, only download automatically, but you guys can choose to just have it automatic if you guys want. So right now, uh, for location services, you guys can choose set up later, by the way, if you don't wanna import any personal information again, or just turn on location so you guys can choose GPS and all that stuff. Siri, same deal, you guys can set up later in settings if you guys don't wanna import personal information again. But if you guys want to use Siri, which is awesome, go ahead and tap on continue. I'm gonna teach you how to set this up. Um, I suggest using voice four, that's what I'm used to. That's Hi, like the most Siri. normal Siri from like my experience. We're going to go into continue. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play music. Siri's ready. So all you guys had to do was read what was there and then just continue on. Uh, you can share your audio recordings or not. A lot of people are going to choose not now, so go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and share. Screen time. This is good for kids because you guys can set up restrictions, see how much screen time they're uh, doing on what. But if you're an adult, most likely you don't care. You're gonna use this for whatever you need to use it. So just set up later in settings. iPad. So you guys can share this with Apple or not. I'm gonna share that information. Same day, same thing with developers. I wanna share that so they can just continue on and make things better. You guys don't have to choose that. Right now, dark mode or light mode. So this is light mode. This is dark mode. So it's just dark. I like this personally. It's better for my eyes. Or automatic. Automatic makes it light during the day, dark during the night. I would choose light just for the sake of this video so you guys can view things better. But as far as that, we are all done. So right now, you guys can see the main apps that you guys get. So if you didn't import anything yourselves, you will notice... These are your base apps and there's nothing more. So those are all the apps that you're gonna get in your iPad, brand new iPad. Anything else that you guys want to download, you're gonna have to go into the App Store and download it. There's a bunch of free apps and paid apps. Most social media apps are completely free. 
So keep that in mind. I've heard a lot of people saying that they're actually not, and they are. Actually, there's a bunch of apps that are free in the App Store and are paid in Android devices. Um, but anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. These are the basics to set up your iPad. If you guys want to watch the manual, how to handle this guy and how to do everything, basically all the basics for your iPad, I do have a manual for it. So make sure to check that out. And as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can return here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.